Uh, again, yes, yes, there exist central bankers uh, that are slightly wiser and central bankers that are slightly uh, less wise. It doesn't uh, change the fact that central banks in and of itself are a tremendous danger. Um, you see, it is almost, it's almost the same. People sometimes ask me, you, you compare government with a criminal organization. How can you say that there are very important differences between the United States, let's say, and the former Soviet Union? And then my answer to these things is, yes, of course there are. There are gangsters, they are worse, and there are gangsters that are not quite as bad. The example I always give, a friend of mine went to an ATM machine, got some money out of the ATM machine, and the mugger was standing behind him and said, hand over the 500 euros to me. And then my friend started negotiating with this guy and said, look, it is late at night, I want to have a few beers, can you just give me some of the money back? And the gangster was a nice gangster. He gave him 50 bucks, 50 euros back of the, um, so, um, you can, of course, also encounter gangsters that then, uh, after starting negotiating with them, they kick your teeth in and break your kneecaps. Um, so, yes, there are some central banks that follow a more wise policy and others that follow a less wise policy, but nonetheless, they are all heads of a criminal organization. That is the point that I'm trying to make. Very quick comment on the two comments that have been made with respect to Citigroup and the CEO. Uh, we have to keep dancing. That smacks of a Nuremberg defense. If the Nuremberg defense was not accepted at Nuremberg, if it's not accepted today at the International Criminal Court, by what possible logic can it be accepted uh, in finance and banking circles? With respect to the other comment, um, well, a horse that can count to three is a remarkable horse, not a remarkable mathematician. A central banker who has knowledge of Wixel. Um, is might be a remarkable central banker, but should not be confused with someone who is prescient and somehow knows what the time preference of the general public is and somehow can set an overnight cash rate amazingly, miraculously, to equivalent uh, market interest rates with um, uh, a natural rate of interest. He might do so out of sheer luck, but it seems to me the logic which has been presented to us is that that's going to be a one-off, it's going to be sheer luck, and in the medium term, a disaster is a far more likely result than sheer luck. I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep that horse example in mind for future references. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>